now we're live. Cool. There we are. Uh, my name is Dr. Ryan. I'm, I'm here with uh, 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 helping Dr. Ben with the pre Cairo podcast. Today we're with Tori. And Tori, you are, are with the New Zealand College of Chiropractic with the admissions department. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. I'm the recruitment officer. Okay. So, so today I'm going to uh, pretend I'm a uh, possible chiropractic student, and I would like you to inform us a little bit about the school. So let's say I'm coming from somewhere in Europe, and I'm interested in chiropractic. First off, why would I choose the New Zealand College of Chiropractic versus another College of Chiropractic? Um, so the New Zealand College of Chiropractic, um, there's a couple of reasons why um, why our graduates are so highly regarded around the world. Um, probably the first one is um, we have a really high number of practical hours here. Um, so all our students must complete um, 500 visits with people, um, real life people um, in our chiropractic centre. Um, and that's double the minimum requirements, almost double the minimum requirements of um, any board around the world. Um, so you're leaving the place with um, really um, a lot of experience behind you. Um, our students also have to go out into the community and um, find those people to be their practice members. Um, so they're not spoon fed, um, which is which is pretty much like real life. Um, building your own practice out in the real world, um, you have to go out and educate your community about why chiropractic is so great and why everyone needs to be under chiropractic care. Um, so communication skills, um, our students are really really strong with their communication skills. Um, and you know, I said there were 500 patient visits, um, but by the end of it, most of our students actually double that number um, if not triple so um, you really are leaving ready to go into practice um, a lot of the chiropractors around New Zealand but also around the world we have a lot of graduates go to Canada um, and Europe as well um, uh, a lot of the chiropractors love our graduates because they say they really are ready to go straight into practice um, so I mean that's definitely a really strong reason for choosing the New Zealand College of Chiropractic um, the other reason is we have a really um, we're really deliberate with our um, balance of our program so you know the three pillars of chiropractic are philosophy art and science so the philosophy is the the why why are you um, doing chiropractic why are you checking and adjusting people um, and then so the art is how you do that so your techniques um, your assessment skills um, adjusting people obviously um, and then that last pillar the science um, so that's obviously um, all the all the reasons um, what, what's happening with the body and, and why someone would um, need chiropractic here so um, we have a really strong focus on the philosophy art and science you know a lot of colleges will be really science um, but we'll be missing maybe some of that philosophy um, behind why you're being a chiropractor and I think that is so important um, knowing why you're helping someone you're not just checking and adjusting people for the sake of it knowing that um, their body is going to be infinitely better once their nervous system is clear from interference um, from the spine is so important um, and you know lots of colleges are really philosophical but perhaps they're missing a little bit of science or they're missing more of the art um, and so we've been really really deliberate um, with our program and um, until I guess philosophy through the whole program even through the technique classes um, and vice versa with all the other things so I think that's what makes our graduates really strong and why choosing New Zealand College of Chiropractic is such a um, such a good idea and such a life-changing decision yeah well well yeah that very interesting you're saying that it's uh, especially about the clinic visits I remember when I went to school I think our, our requirement was 250 visits and so you guys mm. are doing double uh, which I think is fantastic. I think one of the main yeah. problems with the chiropractors and, and from, from all schools is that a lot of times that they graduate and they're not 100% prepared. Like if you have more visits within the clinic, like you said, and some and a lot of them even double that to 1,000 totally. visits, I think yeah. that's amazing. So uh, that is one way to graduate the chiropractor. Good. Then you also spoke something very important, which I feel like the uh, a lot of the profession is divided upon Mm. And that's when the philosophy comes comes into play. There's a, a lot of schools that now that they don't teach the philosophy of chiropractic. Yeah. Um, and there's some schools that we're not even allowed to use the word subluxation. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's a shame because I come from the philosophical background with the subluxation. So I, mm -hmm. for me, that would be something important uh, when when choosing a chiropractic school. Um, yeah. So the. Uh, uh, so say I'm coming from Europe, what do I need to do to to be admitted? What what kind of admission process is, is going on to get into mm. to the school? 
Yeah, yeah, good question. Um, so for New Zealand College of Chiropractic, you don't actually need a full undergrad degree. Um, what you do need to cover is five specific um, health sciences and then three um, other elective papers. Um, and so those health science papers um, are human anatomy, a human physiology, uh, microbiology, biochemistry, and biophysics. Um, and really the best way to do, uh, to make sure that you're completing those visits properly is to get in contact with us first and we'll recommend um, either some programs that we've already approved or we'll, um, we'll help you go through the approval process. Um, and it's really, it's an easy process. Once you're applied with us, um, our academic team will assess um, your papers. Uh, and it's, it is a really easy process. Um, it, it all happens within about a week. So um, definitely the first thing to do would be to apply with us so that we can then assess your papers. Um, someone with previous study in the health sciences um, or perhaps a kinesiology program, natural science, you know, things like that, may have already covered all or some of the prerequisites. Um, so then we can go ahead and assess those as well. Um, but um, grades and um, prerequisite study is not the only thing that we go off. So a successful applicant to us looks like someone who's really got that passion behind them um, and is really, really motivated to become a chiropractor. Um, you know, going to any chiropractic school is a walk in the park. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. You don't just breeze through. It is a lot of work. Um, and um, to really get through that program, you've got to have that passion behind you and you've got to have that motivation. Um, so um, of course, everyone else to do well because it is the foundation of knowledge for the rest of their degree and the rest of um, their career. Um, but yeah, grades are not the only thing that we look at. Um, uh, we've got three other parts of the admissions process. So there's an interview, um, an essay and a critical thinking assessment. Um, and to us, the interview is the most important part. So um, a student is interviewed by someone like me um, or another chiropractor at the college. Um, and um, the interview is basically looking at why do they want to be a chiropractor, what's their motivation, um, how much do they know about chiropractic, so how much have they put into um, learning about chiropractic um, and their experience. So have they gone and seen the chiropractor themselves? Do they know the value of um, being adjusted and checked regularly, um, having a nervous system clear interference? Um, and do they kind of know the basic principles um, around chiropractic and do they have an appreciation for the philosophy as well? Because obviously that is important to us. Um, and then, of course, the, hang on, let, me, let me stop you real quick. But, but yeah, is, yeah. That, is that necessary to to uh, begin? Well, imagine I've never been to a chiropractor before. Mm. I, do, yeah. I mean, obviously, I probably should go visit a clinic and see what mm. chiropractic is about before I, I spend a lot of money and a lot of my time studying chiropractic. Yeah. But I, I remember going to school, and there were some that have never been to a chiropractor or have never even been to a chiropractor before. And I, yeah. I always thought that that was very interesting. But so that's mm -hmm. not... That's not a requirement to go to the school. It's just a suggestion. And I mean, yeah. obviously, you can learn about it when you're there. You should do it beforehand. But mm -hmm. uh, so with the interview process, um, if you don't know a whole lot about chiropractic, that's OK. Yeah, and I was in the same boat. I, I'd seen a chiropractor maybe two or three times before I applied to the school. Um, but uh, we, once you apply, we kind of encourage you to go see a chiropractor before your interview process so that you are prepared for the interview. Um, and we're happy to um, give some recommendations of someone to go observe as well if that's what they'd rather do. Um, both is obviously really valuable. So totally, having chiropractic experience is not um, necessary. But um, once you've applied, we'll help you create a successful application. And part of that is getting some chiropractic experience. Um, but yeah, you're right. It's totally not um, a prerequisite, um, and yeah, um, but it is important to us. Yeah. And, and so, uh, say I, I I start to attend the college. What about housing? Um, I understand that mm. New Zealand can be quite expensive. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the housing? Do students share a place, or how does that all work? Yeah, totally. Um, so um, the college doesn't have any housing itself. We are quite a small um, organization, so we don't have student housing here. But um, most of our students live in the streets around here. Um, so um, it's a, the, the area that we're in is very residential. It's very suburban. Um, so there's a lot of what we call flats, but basically shared housing. Um, so students um, from one year group or often mixed year groups will go in together and rent a house, um, rent a room in each in each place. Um, and, and we're really happy to help find that. We know that international students, um, obviously that's quite a big deal and um, a bit of stress as well when you're coming from overseas. So sometimes they'll already have a place organised um, or they'll go stay with another student and, and sort that out. But we've got a couple of Facebook pages that we use that um, often, um, so fourth years when they're leaving, they'll often pass everything down to a first year, like their car, their furniture, their flat, their room in the flat. So um, yeah, it's a pretty 
process and um, we try to make it as comfortable as possible because we know it is quite a big um, area of, of stress and anxiety. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so a lot of students live with other students. Is, is yeah. Yeah. Saying. Probably most of our students who are renting will live with other students, which is great because then you get to practice all those um, practical skills um, after hours, which is, you know, you're getting, you're getting more hands-on experience, which is the basis of your um, career really. Right. Yeah, I, I remember going to when I was in chiropractic school. Uh, I I lived in a few different places, with different chiropractic students. And I used to live, uh, you know, from different levels. Uh, there's somebody that was, you know, an eight quarter, another, you know, almost ready to graduate, and I come in. Yeah. Until when I was about to graduate, we had newer people in there, and then mm-hmm. I I always saw that there was a bigger difference between those that live with other chiropractic students versus those that live by mm-hmm. their own. Just totally. because they constantly had that practice. So I think that's very important, not just with the, the your New Zealand higher chiropractic college, but with every college, if possible, to mm. be with other students. So, okay, that's that's cool. Um, what about on on campus? Uh, do you guys have different clubs and get togethers or, or can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, for sure. We are a really social um, college um, and because we're so small, everyone really gets to know each other. Um, so we've just got 75 students in each year. Um, so the social life here is, is pretty, um, pretty big as well. Um, we've got lots of different technique clubs. So there's opportunities to practice um, techniques um, outside of class time with mentors and um, students in the years above. Um, we've got Students associations, um, the World Congress of Chiropractic Students as well as part of our, um, we've got a chapter here. Um, and then, yeah, we have things like trivia night, um, uh, uh, talent night, um, debate night. Um, there's, there's lots of social events that happen here. Um, we have a ball every year. Um, so, yeah, we are a really, really, really social college. And with everyone living um, in the streets around us here, um, everyone, you know, everyone gets together quite a lot. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of student life to get involved in. Good, good, good. That's very important to have a strong community. Good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, and then what about outside of, of chiropractic? Uh, where, where is the college located exactly? And from there, is there some type of tourism or something where you can kind of escape mm. every once in a while with, you know, so much study, you know, a little bit of oh. nature, a little bit of this and that would, would always be, you know, can you tell us a little yeah. bit about that? Yeah, totally. I mean, we're in the beautiful New Zealand. So, you know, we're a subtropical couple of islands. Um, there's just beautiful scenery everywhere. Um, the college is located in Auckland, which is the biggest city in New Zealand. Um, but it is a relatively small city compared to overseas. I think we're 1.4 million. Um, we're kind of 10, 15 minutes from the actual central business district. So we are in a suburban area, which means we're not really hectic and, um, you know, with all the traffic around. Um, and just 10 minutes is our closest beach um there's four beaches about 10 minutes away um and then beautiful surf beaches probably like 40 45 minutes drive away um so uh, there's loads of hikes out there um lots of beautiful um forests and all that um the south island is probably the most beautiful part of new zealand though so we're in the north island south island so loads of our um, international students will use their breaks to go and travel around the country um, and certainly this year, with lots of our international students not being able to go home, uh, it sounds like they're all doing a lot of travelling, um, renting a couple of vans and camper vans and going camping around the South Island. Um, there's loads of beautiful mountains as well, so there's some good skiing in New Zealand as well. Um, but definitely summer here is um, really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, lots of surf. You can learn to surf here and, you know, do all your summer activities and everything is really beautiful here as well. Um, so I can't think of a better place really to do to go to be a chiropractor because um, you get to spend all your breaks traveling and um, yeah, New Zealand is just stunning. Um, and I think us Kiwis don't appreciate it enough. But once our international students come here, we, we realize how beautiful it is and they kind of organize all the hikes and all that. <laughs> okay. And so how, how is the, uh, how is the curriculum set up? Are you on a quarter system or semester system or how does that work? We're on a two semester system, so um, we run from January to June each year and then um, July to about October, November. Um, so um, we do start in January each year. That's something that international students should know because most you know, North American places, the start of the academic year is August, September. So um, we do just have the one intake per year in January. Um, and you have two semester system. Um, so it gives you a good summer break um, over Christmas and New Year. So you get to experience a bit of a Kiwi Christmas with the barbecue and um, beach. It's a little bit different from a Northern Hemisphere Christmas. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, so that's how we work. 
Okay, cool, cool. So, um, and how long is the program? So it's a it's a five year program with that first year of prerequisites being done outside of us, so externally. So once you get here, it's four years. Um, and from the first year, you've got your hands on, you're, you're learning your practical skills because that is really important to us that you get hands on literally on your first day because um, those skills do take a while to build up. So we want you to be as, as good as possible by the end. Um, but the first two years are, are more academic. Um, uh, you're learning your um, anatomy and neuro and, um, you know, the science and philosophy behind um, chiropractic. Um, and you're also learning first year is more about how to assess the spine. Um, and then second year, you're learning your techniques. Third and fourth fourth year um, you're learning more techniques but you're also in the chiropractic center so you get two years of internship with us so four semesters total so it is a, a lot of time in the chiropractic center being an intern okay so so the, the last two years you're spent with the chiropractic center which is your your clinic right it's where you go yes. in and you have other chiropractors that observe the students working with real patients from from, yeah. from the outside okay yeah that's correct so they're all registered chiropractors they're all practicing that's really important to us that um they are still in real life um settings so that they can bring into the chiropractic center um, your first semester in the chiropractic center, um, you are checking and adjusting students and faculty and staff um, under quite close supervision from the mentors, the chiropractic mentors. Um, and then once you pass a bunch of um, competency exams, which we call entrance exams, um, as long as you pass those to show that you are competent enough to start seeing public people, um, your second, third and fourth semester in the chiropractic center are seeing public people and building your own practice base. Um, in between those two semesters, the first and second semester, we actually take you on a trip to Rarotonga, which um, a beautiful island uh, in the Pacific. It's probably, I think it's a three hour plane ride from here. Um, and that's an amazing week. Um, you go with all your classmates um, and you check and adjust all the people of Rarotonga, which is an incredible, incredible experience. Um, I grew so much from that from that trip um, and everyone does. You really go from, you know, pretty, you think you're pretty good, but um, you know, you've got some growing to do. And in that week you see more people than you do in that first semester in total um, and your skills just grow exponentially. In that, in that week um, so that's a pretty cool part of the center as well so so that that's like a chiropractic mission trip but it's within and organized by the college and it's in, yes it's yeah it's with similar, the, the it's, program. yeah i guess it's similar to a mission trip but it is part of our chiropractic experience so you're not sent out there on your own you've got all the same mentors with you um, and they really hold your hands through it um, but you are kind of thrown in the deep end um, so your skills really do your skills and confidence probably and certainty really grow um, so similar to a mission trip but we've got all our mentors there as well okay okay well even better then even better yeah than even better 100 okay. um can i can, can we get a little bit of specific about uh, a lot of people when choosing a chiropractic college because they come from a uh, from another chiropractor that does a certain technique mm -hmm. and a lot of people are always interested in what type of techniques do each college offer. Can, can you tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about what techniques are offered at, at the New Zealand uh, Chiropractic College? Yep, totally. Um, so we learn quite a quite a varied um, technique um, package. Um, that's something that a lot of our graduates say as well, that um, once they're ready to go into practice, um, chiropractors are pretty impressed with how many techniques they know. We're actually starting to move away from learning techniques as a single um package I guess and moving towards integrating them all because that's more real life chiropractic um you're not gonna you know you you kind of integrate all your knowledge from different techniques um into seeing one single person um but uh the techniques that we do learn so you've got your diversified which is you know really really manual um probably the most common technique in the world. um and then we've got Gonstead um and I'm just trying to think back now <laughs> um activator methods um Oh my goodness, this is this is really testing me. Um, upper cervical specific, of course. Um, really, really big, important technique. Um, and then um, once you and so extremities as well. Um, once you've gone through the basic techniques, or once you've really, you know, you've mastered those techniques, um, there's uh, an advanced technique program, um, which are kind of electives that you can you can add on. So um, that changes every year depending depending on the demand and um, the the chiropractors that we have around us. Um, but in the past, that's been um, Thompson. Um, I think we've had SOT, Blair. Um, NET. Um, so there's lots and lots of different opportunities here um, to learn to learn techniques. But we are moving towards a more um, integrative 
um, kind of package so that we can really use lots and lots of different techniques on different people um, depending on what suits them best. So learning everything to adjust the cervicals and then all the thoracic moves and lumbar and pelvis. Um, so, yeah. yeah. That, that's but quite you know, a lot. That's quite a lot compared to some of the other schools that offer, you know, one or two or three. That's quite yeah. a lot. So good. For good. sure. So, yeah. so say I go through the program, I graduate today. Um, do What do I need to do to practice in New Zealand or, or Australia? Uh, is there board examinations like we have in the United States or can you talk yes. about a little bit about that? Yep, so there are board exams for New Zealand and Australia, but being a New Zealand College of Chiropractic graduate, um, you don't have to sit those. You are qualified to start practicing immediately in New Zealand and Australia. You just have to register with the appropriate board. Um, so, yeah, that's really great. There's also a couple of countries in Asia um, that recognise our graduates as well. Um, and then, um, you want to know, overseas as well. Yeah, sure. So, uh, so say I want to return back to Europe. I mean, I, mm. I imagine it depends on what country and what their requisites are for. Right? Yep. Um, and I also read on your on the website that says that you can even come to the United States. And there's some states that I mean, you'd have to do the national boards over there, but yep, then you totally. can still you still have the requirements to be able to practice within some of the states. That you have to pay. Yeah, so yeah, totally. I, I guess it's a country to country basis, depending on what each country has for the requirements. Yeah, for sure. We do hold um, the highest accreditation with our accrediting body. So um, we are recognized um, all around the world. Um, yeah, there are, you definitely need to do your research into which country you want to go into. Um, but um, a lot of Europe is really, really accessible as um, a New Zealand grad. Canada, you're definitely able to go into. Um, and then, yeah, with America, um, lots of the different states have different regulations. But um, we can definitely go into detail with that with a student, um, depending on where they want to go. Um, same with Europe. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I, I think we've covered most of it of, of what a prospective student would want to ask and would, what type of information they would want to find. Do you have anything you would like yes. to add? Did we leave anything out? Um, I think probably the biggest thing is um, our culture here. That's one thing that you can't really uh, necessarily talk about um, or, you know, quantify but um, our culture here we're just such a strong family um, being quite a small college um, I think that helps but just the way that our mentors interact with our students um, and um, just the general feel of the place it's so hard to um, it's so hard to translate over over the internet um, and without coming here but that our, our students are so well looked after and I never once felt like I was out on my own I did my prerequisites at a larger university and you know you just kind of feel like a number there um, but here everyone knows each other the mentors the you know the president Phil, he, he knows everyone by their first names um, and they know him by his first name so I think that's just something that's it's hard to get across but it's just an incredible such a special place um, where you really are part of the family um, and you know being an international student that is pretty important um, because you are moving halfway across the world um, to a remote little island um, to, to study for four years um, and that is so important being a part of a family um, so it's something that we really we try to get across to our students um, but without coming here in person it can be can be difficult but um, yeah I mean there's lots of opportunities to join in we've got lots of online events running at the moment um, and that's a pretty good way to kind of get a feel of the college as well because um, uh, we get some students and some recent grads on there to, to kind of give their experience as well and you kind of get the feel from those events. Okay and we can find the information we just uh, let's see what's the website we have here uh, chiropractic.ac.nz yes that's correct okay. um, and if you go to the what's on page um, there's events on there okay yeah, um, yeah. Or, yeah probably the I just Googled New Zealand College of Chiropractic and it, and it came right up, yeah, so it's not, it's not hard to find. Yeah, okay. probably um, the best thing to do if a student's interested is just to reach out to me um, at my email address and we can guide them from there and um, we can do a one-on-one -on -one Zoom if they like or a talk on the phone or, yeah, that's definitely the best way to start. Yeah, at the end we'll include all your personal information in the, in the website for the college uh, within the description. Okay. When, when, I mean, after this video, right now we're live, but we're going to edit this and make it into a nice video. and. Cool. And, uh, and, and post all the information without any problem. Uh, later, you, if you can uh, write all the information to, to Dr. Ben, uh, he can organize it and sure. get that all uploaded. So awesome. uh, I, I have finished with all the questions I've had. Um, 
and you uh, you did a great job of answering everything uh, just how I, I wanted to hear it. So I'm very awesome. thankful to have had uh, had the opportunity to speak with you. I hope this helps some uh, prospective students yeah. to, to see what college they would like to go to. I almost yeah. feel like I, I wish I can go back and, and then <laughs> a lot of people say that. Yeah, because I, I, I personally just went to the closest school to where I, yes. where I was from. And now, yeah. you know, uh, looking back on that, you know, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I, I could have went somewhere, you know, around the world to New Zealand. And mm. I had a different experience, uh, which, uh, I don't know, maybe I feel like I, I regret that a little bit. But anyways, we can't change the past. <laughs> no. uh, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for you your too. time. Awesome. Uh, uh, and uh, we're going to leave it at that. So thank you awesome. so much. Uh, and, and maybe we'll speak with you again in the future. Sounds great. <laughs> it's nice to speak with you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. See you. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.